so I bought a super small lens. 7 Artisans 18mm f6.3 So I wanted to be a better photographer and in order to do so, I told myself to take a photo every day, post it daily and to achieve that, I plan on bringing a camera everywhere I go but I do have some concerns mainly A of getting attention and B of getting mugged so I needed a setup that is small and cheap I'm already using Sony A5100 for streaming so that's a good start no cost to me as for the lens, I researched Google and found the perfect companion for the body the 7 Artisans 18mm f6.3 Mark II so I went to my online marketplace and placed an order and that is where my woes start first minor problem well more like an inconvenience the unexpectedly long delivery time so I placed an order to a China seller instead of a local one for the slightly cheaper price I already knew that it was going to be long but I did not expect it to be almost two weeks but that's fine it's just an inconvenience but when it does arrive though wow that thing is small I realized that it is not only thin but it is also small by the radius so I gotta be careful especially when I'm using this in the rain second problem look at this image look at the crazy purple vignetting that is happening on the sides what is happening is it supposed to be like this so I checked again on a few of the YouTube videos that I've seen before and most of them are fine they do not have this kind of weird artifact well, except for two YouTubers I've found and they were using a ZV-E10 and I think a Fujifilm camera So I thought to myself, are we the unlucky ones who receive a bad copy of this lens? Is it even possible for this lens to be faulty? I'm so confused and that was even the worst part of this story the camera that I've been using, the Sony A5100, the screen died on me. Luckily, I had all the settings set just right to be a webcam. Well, I guess that becomes my permanent webcam now. So, what am I left with? A faulty camera and a faulty lens. The only thing I can do right now is just to continue on with my photography using my other camera, the Sony A6700. Don't get me wrong, this is definitely a better camera than the A5100 but it just kind of break both rules that I had for the setup. It is both big and attention grabbing but I figure out that I just have to continue on with what I have. So it turns out that this lens is not faulty and I still don't know what made that purple vignetting appear. I'm just happy that this lens is not broken because I could have not been bothered to send it back to China and have it replaced. Anyway, it has been a while since all, all of those happened and I realized that I have not been using the lens as much as I planned. My Sony A5100 is still not fixed. I've been using that as a webcam and it works great and amidst all that there's something positive that happened I've built up courage to bring my bigger camera the A6700 around and I've been taking a lot of photos with them and I've been posting daily photos on Instagram too and that's a success 
So did things go how I wanted it to? Nope. But did I achieve my goals? Absolutely. <laughs>